And one more here, Jay Raymond with the 20. I'm a firefighter, paramedic, and a flight medic leaving my job because Nick is 100% correct about firefighters being the long arm of insurance companies. Starting high-level clinician training in anesthesia this year. Thank you, Nick. Another fireman quitting his job on behalf of this stream. A success for a scuffed <laughs> realtor. Another tax cheat. <laughs> Another tax cheat realizing what he's doing is fleecing his countrymen, his fellow statesmen. And he decided to move on into the private industry. No, just kidding, guys. Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. Shit. Zero Cool says, hey, Nick, I'm learning a lot from these streams. Thank you. I've also been looking at C5 Corvettes. Do you think it's worth it to get the Z06, or should I just get a strippy and have my guy slap a supercharger on it? Yeah, get a strippy. I think the, the Z06 guys are going to be too high up their fucking, too high on their horses to be able to pry it out of their hands. You have to like, Shh, give me the fucking keys, Gary. I'll give you nine grand for it. And he's like, it's a ZR1. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Give me the fucking keys for 9,000 less than you asked for it. Give me the fucking keys or I'll bash your fucking head in. That's a good negotiation. <laughs> Get him in the garage, shut the door, make sure there's no cameras around and threaten him with physical violence. <laughs> give me the fucking car, Gary. I'm gonna bash your fucking head in. I'm not playing games. There's two sets of keys, right? Because I'll give you 10,000 less if there's not. Where's the title? I want it unsigned. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Don't mark it up with your stupid fucking writing. That's how you get a good deal on a Corvette in a garage from a guy on Craigslist. Just fucking menace him. Fucking talk to his nose. Do you see the screwdriver? Yeah, I'll stick it right in the middle of your forehead, dude, as hard as I can. Fucking try me, dude. Try me. I got out of prison an hour ago. <laughs> I'll go back. I miss it. Uh, yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm thinking I miss my cellmate. I'm ready to go back now. Hmm, what am I going to go back for this time? This time I want to go back for a long time. Forever. <laughs> yeah, this time I'm trying to go there for. I'm trying to go on a permanent vacation. To cell block one. Um, good patio. Again, the planting's a little fucking spot, like spotty. Um, oh, God. I, guys, stop putting fucking cars. Stop, stop doing this. This makes me want to, like... I would like, I would want to like bump my truck into this car if it was parked in the driveway at the showing. I'd be like, oh, oops, my foot slipped off the clutch. And they're like, it's an automatic. I'm like, yeah, it's fucking, oops, the clutch. <laughs> and they're like, my Fiat, my spider. Oh no, mommy's spider. The mass drummer says, I can't take it. I have an 80s suede B&B Italia sofa set with a Ooh. giant glass coffee table. Went into Ooh. a premium furniture shop yesterday and noticed all the modern stuff is junk, including the expensive stuff. Is it just me? No, this new stuff is total shit. New furniture is absolute dog shit. Even old, ugly sofas that you find at Salvation Army are actually better to buy and reupholster than to try to buy a new sofa. New, new, new furniture is like fucking disappointingly bad. As someone who's like, like, I don't know, I, you know, I don't want to keep hunting for like certain pieces in my house. I kind of just like want it now, but as a, as a huge prick, um, I'm not doing it. Like I, I can't, I, I went to fucking Roche Bobois last week. They were like, the couch is 30,000 and we'll do 10% off. I was like ready to offer like 3,500 for stuff. I went up there like foaming at the bit to make bad offers and like, and that like it was a, it's our sale. It's our annual floor sale. And I was like, yeah, a great floor sale, 10% off of $30,000. I was hoping there was gonna be something laying around, you know, kicking around for seven, eight grand, something wild, maybe a Mahjong or something like that. Nope, no nothing. And honestly, the quality was fucking bad and everything was small as shit. So when, then you would go to the big stuff at Restoration Hardware or B&B Italia or something like that, which there's no B&B Italia around here. That's just the best. And, but also when you order stuff from B&B Italia, they give you the fucking, it'll be in in nine years and it's 30,000. Like, oh, thank you. Oh, cool, I'll go fuck myself. Oh, thank you. I really enjoyed coming into the, your cunt store. And I'll just, I'll, I'll walk myself out and I'll try to punch fist my own asshole before I get in my truck. You want me to eat dog food out of a bowl in front of my daughter? <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you want to hear an audio recording of me taking, taking a Thanksgiving Day shit? No, like it's just, it's unbelievable. Um, so yeah, no, it's not you, bro. Love the stream, guys. 4K viewers and not even 1,000 likes. Anyone who hasn't liked the stream kisses their dad <laughs> on the mouth. Right. Guys, press the button, man. Please, or else you kiss your papa in the mouth as a grown man. It's strange, it's very strange. Just press like. Why would you not? Uh, why would you kiss your father? Like, what's right? Is this something? Unless wrong? you just want to kiss your dad. Is there something wrong with you? You kiss your parents. You have an incest problem. What's it wrong with you? Yeah, you have problem. You need a psychological uh, reevaluation. Yeah, you need some uh, 
some SSRI inhibitors, you know, maybe some Lexapro, some Adaven, you know, to fix your problems in your brain, iron out the kinks. Oh, he put a putting green in the backyard. That's a nice waste of fucking time that you never use. My old boss, who tried to kiss me, um, put a putting green in his house. <laughs> I told everybody after I quit my job that my boss, who was my friend that I used to drink with all the time, that yeah. he tried to kiss me one night at a bar, and I never told him I was lying. <laughs> After Did I left, that I was like, yeah, it's fine, I was fine, but like, he didn't have to fucking try to kiss me, dude. That was so fucking strange. I would like see like some of the mechanics at, at the gym that I used to work with, and I'd be like, yeah, Scott. He's like, why'd you leave, man? I was like, oh man, I was stressed out, and I was like, I, I didn't appreciate that fucking, Eric tried to fucking kiss me, dude. I was like, what the fuck is that all about? I mean, God. <laughs> and he's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, dude, I couldn't fucking believe it. Like, we were just going out for beers, you know, probably went out for beers, probably like maybe a hundred times. We'd go out like almost once a week, it felt like. You know, and then when I started getting the podcast, I got too busy. So, uh, you know, oop. so uh, I guess you missed me. Yeah. And just... Anyway, man, I got to get back to lifting. See you later. Uh, yeah. Uh, houseboat bad boy with the 20. I'm a concrete finisher and a hand hardscape landscaper weed man. Boss promised us 401ks and insurance last year. Instead, had us install a $200,000 ugly ass in ground pool with giant retaining walls in a McMansion. Uh, should I do my own thing? Yeah. Do your own thing. Get a truck. Do your own thing. Um, serious. I know the feeling, man. It's supposed to get you a 401k and supposed to get you insurance. For all, I just want, just a tip, guys. For all of you, for everybody who's like super scared of insurance and like not having health insurance and keeping bad jobs over health insurance, I have better insurance now working for a fucking, for my antiques company. It's like a thousand bucks a month and it covers like, I was losing way more than that for the shittiest goddamn insurance through Penske Auto was my fucking, they're like a Fortune 100 company. I had the shittiest insurance. The way the insurance is, I fill out the forms at any of the, you know, anytime I went to the doctor, and then the, uh, the desk clerk nurse sit, told me to open my mouth and she spit in it. I was like, what the fuck? She's like, that's the way you're, it's, what you're, it's not Blue Cross, it's the insurance you have. She's like, open your mouth, and I was like, and then she spit in it, and then she shut my chin. So. Um, don't be scared. Don't like, you know, I, I know it's like, oh yeah, a thousand a month, like it's nothing. I'm like, I get it, but like, should, I know, I'm talking about people who are trying to make a, if you're in the construction, you can go out there and make yourself two, three grand a week if you work your ass off. Make yourself five, six hundred a day. Nick, I'm considering trying to start hand painting Portuguese tiles to sell to rich folks. Is there a market for this or should I try to pursue private gardening even though I'm in cold ass Minnesota? Private gardening is cool. I have a friend who does private gardening. Um, he's 50 bucks an hour and he can like, it's pretty nasty because you're working with the rich. And honestly, working with the rich is good because uh, you make money. You make a lot of money. Um, and like, I like that. I, I love that. The, I, I would literally be a private gardener in my, like, if this stream doesn't get over a thousand people tonight, then I'm, I'll go be a private gardener. <laughs> Seriously, well, I think already, it's cool. We're already four times up. I'll be your private gardener. Oh, oh I can. So never mind. We're doing the stream then. But no, I, I would <laughs> love to be your private gardener. What's the name of your private gardening, comp private gardening company? I'm trying. Give me a second. I'll think of the worst name for a for a private gardener company. Underwear landscaping company. <laughs> <laughs> All of our guys come out butt naked, and do your backyard. I'm in my underwear. We'll do your backyard. <laughs> Look in windows. La Peeping Tom's landscaping company. <laughs> So, There's other sort without being vulgar. I mean, the vulgar is easy. Yeah. Right, but yeah, yeah, you got to be like, yeah, like a peanut butter and jelly joke. Booby, we have no uh, no chat reads right now. I'm sorry, man. Right up there. So you guys know we turn chat reads off. They love me so much they had to turn the chat reads off. YouTube says they never see that. They said that's <laughs> so rare.